All right, guys, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are going to get cracking here. Sorry it took a little bit longer there. Uh, changed some th things around here with the uh, the stream. There was a... Uh, what is it? Uh, new settings that were put out for the stream, basically. That are supposed to make it a lot more efficient. So we're not even using the other streaming PC right now. Just using my gaming PC to do the stream and uh, apparently it should be pretty much the same as using the other PC so you guys will all be able to uh, be the judge of that for sure so let's get started here looks like I got one more vehicle that I need to bring down this is gonna go all the way down actually to the logging site but we got to get some fuel in it first And before I go, I'm going to get rid of that plow. Well, what's going on there, Dakota, Jonathan, Robert, Cody, Jamie, Adam? Welcome, guys. We are going to get rid of... That? Oh, you need that. Maybe I need everything I have attached there. Okay, so that plow is actually what enables you to carry the uh, the logs. Pretty cool. Okay, let's get it going. Hey, David. Afternoon, man. take this down pretty much the exact same route that we've been taking everything down there. It's the most straightforward way to get down. Turn all-wheel drive on. Nice, Kevin. Good for you, brother. Can't say I really approve, but... You know. I'm glad you're happy. That's a hell of a bridge up there above us. We haven't gone across that one yet, I don't think. I noticed before... I mean, I don't know how much I really changed it, to be honest, but... I noticed before when I moved the camera around, it really would get blurry background and just the whole screen would kind of get blurry until the screen stopped moving again and I just feel like that shouldn't be happening in the stream Oh, yeah, Kevin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that was going to be for the trucker one, remember? I guess we could do that for uh, spin tires as well.
I think the spin tires one, the hat should be different. It shouldn't be a trucker hat. It should be a, a, a plaid hat. Like black and like red and black plaid or something like that. 50 stars for the setup, or er, for the cigar. And then I was reading Jamie. That setup is for farming sim. Now the farming sim, remember? The farming sim is the farmer hat with the straw. Alright, I don't want to go that way. We gotta go over to the right. Oh yeah, I see the trail here. I should have made a pit stop there for fuel. Maybe Rob's still on his way down here with some. I know if I turn all-wheel drive off, it's just the front two tires, so it's not going to do too well. Actually, Matt, I, I can get it turned on here. I, uh, I spent a bunch of time moving the camera around today for the stream, just so that it's not in my eyes directly all the time but so that it still works with the green screen. I just don't have the light on right now. I actually had it all set up. Oh, I know what happened. Buddy knocked the cord out. And then I never just plugged it back in. I gotta grab a drink here in a second and then I'll uh, plug it in and we'll get, uh, get it going. Nice, Kyle got it on Xbox. Kyle, if you're ever looking for other people to uh, play the game with, you can go on the White Rhino 09 Facebook page or the Top Fan page and uh, find the console post for console players and post up your information or find other people on there that play spin tires. Game's a lot more fun when you play with other people. Looks like we're about out of fuel. How close am I? Almost there, too. Working late tonight, huh, Rhino? Streaming late, probably. Going on, Shannon? Good to see you, brother. Just ran out of fuel right there. How do I want to do this? I guess I could use the John Deere. I oh, know, the Scorpion. The Deere is still up at the loading site, I think. go back. Where's the fuel trailer? Oh, it's over there. Good. Mrs. Rhino should be home here in maybe like an hour and a half. Two hours. Hopefully uh, they don't run into any uh, bad weather. So I gotta put fuel in this. <clears throat> Which isn't gonna use much. It's just gonna sit here loading trucks. And now we gotta get back there and get fuel in that one that ran out. Hey Alfie, what's up, man? Back on the American Wilds 2 map. 
but with different uh, different trucks this time, different vehicle recommendations from the uh, creator of the map. He messaged me this morning and uh, saw the stream from yesterday and was like, hey man, you should try these vehicles with the, uh, the map. So I was like, alright, cool. I'll just restart it and use those. And that is all the equipment that we're using here. Alright, we got that loaded back up, full of fuel, which it's gonna need because it's gonna be doing trips back up to uh, the loading area. I'm just gonna leave this fuel here. There's only 60 liters in there anyway. It's not gonna be too much use to us anymore. Kevin, she was getting a training down there for a new software type or something. What's going on, Jeff? Welcome, man. Alright, I was going to use this to put medium logs in the back of that trailer, actually. Uh, Jeff, I'm not going to say gave up on it. I still may go back and play uh, Seven Days to Die again soon, but to be honest, there's a game coming out at the end of the month, actually in nine days, on the 29th I believe it is, uh, Jaws of Extinction is going to go into the public alpha. So I'm going to be checking that game out. It's really similar to Seven Days to Die, but it seems like it's a lot better. I'll be bringing that to show you guys in about uh, a little over a week. Oh, I can't see out there too well. Normally they give you like a crane camera. Every time I get it too close. Got him. Rob said once it's on Steam, he'll get it. Well, it's not going to be on Steam for quite a while. They're not actually going to put it on Steam until the game's fully released. Alright, we need one more. Alright, cool. We got that trailer loaded up. What's going on, Robert? Welcome, man. Arthur, welcome as well. Alright, let's jump in the skitter here. Get this started. 
All right, we got that packed up, ready to roll. I'm gonna get this thing pulled out of here. Oh wait, that's the wrong way. That always throws me off, because I'm always thinking I gotta go on that trail, but there isn't actually a trail. <laughs> if you follow that, it goes down to the edge of the map right there. So I gotta turn around and go that way, but I'm also thinking I wanted to bring this, drive this all the way up here. Uh, the PC, my PC build is actually in the video description. So if you click in the video description, you can see exactly what I'm running. Alright, we're gonna do that. We're gonna drive this all the way back up there. We should probably lower these logs down too. wondering if this thing could literally move these logs all the way around or move the uh, the arm all the way around yeah that is pretty cool man that way you can have the weight in the rear instead of in the front. And I don't think these trees behind me will hit other trees either. Looks like it's bottoming out right there. Hey Rhino, what's up man? It's a great game, Arthur. There's so many different there's so many different maps and vehicles that you can use. You can always play it different. Same map, but we restarted today. What's up, Jeremy? Yeah, I don't have to worry. This trees just go right through the other trees that are standing there. So like I was saying earlier, the map creator hit me up this morning and was like, hey, you should try uh, starting the map over with these uh, these different mod vehicles, the uh, forwarder DLC mod and um, the John Deere skitter mod. So I got those restarted and now we're using these vehicles and they're awesome. Definitely meant for uh, what he had intended here on this map. This is a pretty impressive piece of equipment here, I gotta say, man. Not only does it have a lot of power and everything, but the fact that this loading arm can move from the rear all the way to the front and carry five long logs, no problem. Awesome piece of equipment. Right, I gotta start making my way up now.
Oh, arm hit right there. Going on, Michael. No, I'm probably doing some farming sim tonight. We've been pretty much doing that at uh, as the later night stream. Pretty impressive, I gotta say. Alright, so this truck doesn't need all of these. I believe it needs three. So I'm gonna drop three long logs on there and drop the other two here. See if I can do this. And those things are like stuck in there. Well, I got two of them at least. That's usually how many you need for a long log load. But I'm thinking, whoa. Better close that. I'm thinking that uh, this is a custom one, so it might be a full load and it might need an extra one. Wait a minute, I'm looking at the wrong damn area. What the hell? That, that, nope, nope, that's not it either. That's it. Ah, oh, I knew it, that one log has to be moved forward. Uh, maybe I can back it into something. Or I just drive that skitter up the green one. Yeah, Robert, that clamp is solid, man. That's what I was saying before about that thing. It has a, a clamp that's so strong when I was trying to pick up those long logs, I picked up five of them. I was like, wow, that's amazing. Let's see if that's actually going to work. 
I'm gonna tell me I gotta position my truck properly, but at least they're green. Oh no, look at that. Backed up. We just gotta get the rear grappler shut. There we go. All right, there we go. There's a long log load. That'll be fun to uh, hit the trail with. All right, let's switch over to the skidder here. Back this up into the fuel trailer. Hook up to that and uh, give that other John Deere some fuel. Oh. Shouldn't have brought that crane. That doesn't allow you to hook up to a trailer. That's all right. We can use the other one. This actually should be... Uh, taken down to uh, the logging site. This doesn't really have any purpose being up here. Yeah, I'd say the game's worth getting on P uh, PS4 and console and everything. You're just, you're gonna run out of maps to play because you don't have mods available to you. I mean, that's the only uh, downfall to getting the game on console. But it's still a great game. There's still a bunch of maps to play and vehicles to use and everything like that. This should be able to do the fuel. Got that John Deere loaded, fueled up. That thing is ready to roll. Like, I got more skidders than I do uh, logging vehicles at this point. This is going to be a four point load vehicle right here. This thing can load itself, which is pretty cool. Need to get those medium logs and back up. see which two I can grab together. This might be one of the ones, um, oh, right there. Uh-oh. It looks like I didn't actually need this grap grappler here. You hook it up to, uh, this with chains and drag the logs out like that. I was thinking this was going to grab the logs and drag them that way, but... Same thing, basically. That'd be kind of interesting to see if I could actually transport uh, short logs on top in here. No, I don't think so.
It's not showing me the white circles on any of the logs. Well, that's a medium load right there. Go on. Go pretty much straight. Or make my way over to the right. Go through the water, hit the trail over there. That's what I'm envisioning. Hang on one. 